It is a step back in time. When the king of the road was a greyhound bus, courteous drivers wore beautifully tailored wool uniforms, and Americans rode in well-appointed buses to get to and from nearly every small town in America. Well, Cora, this is PD 3751-438. days of bus travel are gone, but they're very much alive in the garage of a Clark County man who bought one of these old buses that was literally sitting in the weeds. That's the real McCoy. That is a Pacific Greyhound Lines vintage hat and hat badge. Mark Renner has returned this 1947 Greyhound Silverside to its original glory and then some. One of my goals was to travel with my grandkids and show them the real America. Uh, America is not Disneyland and five-story resorts. America is national parks and other things. Gonna take a sentimental journey. Mark and a friend from Paradise Coach and Interiors in Eugene worked three years restoring this bus. And you'd be hard pressed to find a better restoration of this model bus anywhere in the world. Original fluted aluminum silver side cladding. A $500 acrylic replica of a Greyhound faceplate on the front of the bus. I've tried to retain the exterior exactly like it was when it was in commercial service for Graham and redo the interior into a modern but Art Deco feel. Inside, from the gauges to an original steering wheel to the iconic Greyhound logo, it all looks as it was. Art Deco window sconces, overhead luggage racks replaced by African hardwood storage bins. The old is complemented by the new. The leather sofas slide out into a bed, backlit stainless steel cutouts of a greyhound running dog for heat and air. 7.30 coach for Somerville. Bought a ticket the other night, the Union Station was lit up bright. The crowd was shoving with all its might, but we all settled down for a trip on a greyhound bus. And if you think it's fun to walk through, try getting it on the open road. That's us, hit and whisk on a greyhound bus. The old silver side glides through the countryside like it used to. And when it's on the road, Mark says it's a real attention getter. If you're driving down the highway, say the freeway, about every other car will be honking and giving you the thumbs up and, and even videoing. The fun is at the back of the bus where Mark's grandkids and the Harlan kids, Corey, Lila, and Sasha, run for four separate sleeping berths. Each bed has its own flat screen TV and headphones. Gotta take that sentimental journey. It's a Greyhound Express that never seems to be in too much of a hurry to get where it's going these days. But it never fails to take people who ride in it on that sentimental journey back in time. Greyhound Silverside ruled the roadways. Sentimental journey. With photojournalist Bill Cortez, Cor Harlan, 0.6 News.